it's the first time I actually get to show you my short hair because I don't think I've filmed a video since I've had it done but like this doesn't feel right to me <laughs> I'm so sad that it's all gone and like does it look really short at the back because I don't even know what it looks like from the back but I just feel like I've lost all my hair and I don't know what to do because it used to be out of the camera shot and now it's in the camera shot. I'm very sad. But anyway guys, I'm here for a Top 5 Tuesday but just to let you know something really quickly is I'm not going to be uploading a Top 5 Tuesday next week because I don't want to give you a video that's going to be really late because I'm actually going to Wollongong with my friends so I can get her passport sorted with her. So we are leaving Monday and we're coming back Wednesday and it's just like I'm not going to have time to film a video because i got to go to work for five days and it's always done and like I want to give you good content so I am going to be missing out next week but I'm going to be here this week even though my Guild of Wars review is happening very soon. It's rendering there. See the buzzword readathon has been happening and I have not been doing very much the reading but that was my excuse for not uploading that video yesterday. So that is rendering. It's getting ready and I'm here for Top 5 Tuesday. Today's theme is going to be my top five overused girl name and I will be doing a version of this for boys names but these are just the names I'm kind of sick of seeing and every time a character has this name I'm always just like uh. I'm just throwing the cringe out lately with these videos but I just thought up the theme and I thought it was a good idea and just to let people know if any of these are actually your names I am not attacking you I'm just attacking the name and in general characters in YA books with these names always irritate me so I am not attacking you. Please don't be upset. Like if someone said they hated the name Abby, I'd be like, I get you. That's my name and I get it. I'm weird too. The name and the characters, just not the person. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Okay, so number five on my list is like Catherine, but it can also be like Kat or Katie or Erin. It's like just different forms of that name where I just feel like it's used all the time. And the only time I've liked this name is when it was Catherine Fangirl because I love Caf, but I just feel like it's such an overused name. And for the fact too that it was made so popular on the Vampire Diaries, with Catherine Pierce but now that I see people with the name Catherine like in full as well I'm always just like Ugh. it's been used so much and there's so many names and I love it when characters have unique names that can be weird names I don't care if it's a weird name I just want more unique names and Catherine is always on like top 10 baby name lists and I'm like people need other names for their baby. Number four on my list is Sophia and I can handle Sophie because that seems like a more normal name but whenever a character is called Sophia it just gives them this elegant of being like this rich bitch and I do think that is a gene with having the name because every time I've seen a Sophia it happens a lot in contemporary novels as well where it's like Sophia's that you know the bitch when the main character is like the shy geeky one the main bitch is called Sophia or the Parisy kind of character is named Sophia I'm so bored of this like heir to the name and I'm just like please no more so number three on my list is because of Twilight because I really don't like the name Isabella anymore and even though she is Bella I still can't get over it. Like, I do like the name Belle, though, because it's Belle, but, like, Isabella, I'm always like, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear more about it because Sparkly Vampires ruined that name for me. So anytime characters is called Isabella, I'm like, please, no. Number two on my list is Addie. I hate this name with a passion. I cannot handle it anymore because Addie always seems to be a name in a contemporary novel, and it's always, like, the best friend's name. And so many times I see so many Addies, and they can always be just little bitches. Like, you know how you get those contemporary novels where, like, the main character just really depends on their like popular best friend and then they don't know what to do in life without them and then they realize how much that friend's been controlling their lives and it's just like okay get rid of an addy and number one on my list is sloan because it just sounds like such a weird name for a girl and i see so many and i actually am reading since you've been gone at the moment like i've set it aside because of the readathon but the main character's best friend is sloan and it's the same idea where the best friend is so popular and awesome and the main character is some just blank boring canvas but their best friend Sloane. Can't deal with this name because it's just too much and I just feel like it was such a popular name in the day and I'm so glad it is not being used anymore. Like it would have pissed me off if this was still a popular name and I'm so glad it is gone from the name generators. <laughs> but anyway guys thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and I always do think it's fun when you do see names being used over multiple characters and it gets to the point where you go oh yeah I really like Catherine and people have to go which one? But just saying, there's obviously more names that I like than I don't like. I have had the option to do my favourite names as a Top 5 Tuesday, but when I think about it, I can't think of any one name, and there's also way too many, so it's, it's a very difficult situation, but... You know, it's easy to talk about things we don't like. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!